Uh uh. Do you look at this? Will be done, but there's another one right behind it with 15, 20 knots, four to six on it too. You're gonna have about an hour break, and then we're gonna get. I've had worse. I know you have. But you want a bean bag? The cutty's in your bean bag. I am in your bean bag. She will smoke you. I just you, helped Lana. you with all of your stuff. She dressed you like a little child. <laughs> I mean, I get guess you are the size bag. of Miles. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. This could be a bad idea. We're going to try to catch the elusive Cabrera snapper. The lights don't work. We are on the water damage to back up boat. Scott is trying to rig up navigation lights. I didn't know this is what we were going to be doing. <laughs> we do the same thing every year. <laughs> and they're going to destroy by sharks. We'll be lucky if we make it back from this one. One nightmare at a time. Dakota requested rap music. It's going on. <laughs> I didn't request it. You guys All right, we did. We knew Hunter and Miles wanted it. Miles really likes it. Scott's oh, yeah. Miles Scott's is a thug. Oh yeah. Hunter Miles, Miles is a uh, easy back there, squatty truck. I know what you want, Miles. <laughs> we got the lights going up here to get wired in. We are sweating profusely. It is hot. But you don't get many chances to do this. We have to go tonight. Tonight's our night. We literally have three, four, five minutes here to do this, and if we pass on the night. You're losing one air yeah. shot, so. Temporary effect, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very temporary. This this makes a good night, we'll be happy. Celebratory snack if we catch one. This is a moon pie. For those of you not acquainted with the moon pie, it's been around since 1917. It is only for celebrations. And tonight, we're going to be celebrating because Nick is either going to catch a Kubera or die trying. <laughs> it could be either or. Hey. Could be the latter of the two. This is gonna last one trip. Right. This is not to any spec, A, B, Y, C, nothing here. We are just trying to literally duct tape it together. Not one of our brightest decisions, but nothing exciting is done sitting at the dock. I'll tell you that. I would say it's the dumbest one I've been a part of all day, but let's be honest. We, really you were a lot of lightning. lightning yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were so worried that Scott was gonna be a conductor on top of his head but the lightning was coming by. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't hit him though. Wired the boat We're using duct tape, the zip ties, but we got lights and we have a long run. And with a little luck, Rick is a snapper. Not a lot of luck, really, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. Belting up with the black magic just in case. If someone's gonna kill me, it's gonna be this tonight. The spreader lights not working, but the good news is Scott MacGyver a pair of running lights on the boat plus an anchor light, so at least we're safe that way. It's so rough out here, no other boats around here. I don't blame them. But we're gonna see what happens. I said, no, Charles, I will not go Cabrera fishing. Okay, you talked me into it. And here we are. Lobster's about to go down. Good. All right, we're getting a lobster rigged up on here. That's that Kubera candy. We worked hard to catch them. Now we're about to use them for bait. That is Nicholas's lucky bait right there. And we're gonna find out. We're rigged. Okay. We're about to drop lobsters down. The sharks got us last year. Well, actually, I didn't fish much last year. It'll be one day. My buddy's got some big ones last year, but we didn't get to put the time in. We did get some last year, actually, in August. We're sending down live lobsters looking for big cabaret snapper, giant snappers, giant cabaret. See what happens. <laughs> 70 wide pen, 130 braid. We will probably have 40 pounds of drag on these fish. I'm out of shape. I'm probably not a great idea to be doing this, honestly, but I'm doing it anyhow. If you hook these snappers, they're mean. They'll try to go in the wreck. So you got to get them out. Plus, you got to fight the sharks. Hopefully, beat the sharks up here. We're down on the bottom. Over 150 feet of water. Waiting for that big thump. Marking them or no? 150 feet off. We're on the back side of it. 
Uh, they're like up in the middle, like 100 foot up. First drift, no bites. We couldn't really see how rough it was. It's rougher than we thought coming up here because it's dark out. I thought it was like three to four, but it's like four to six foot. There's some big swells here rolling around. Well, about 15, 18 knots, but it gets gusty in some of these rainstorms. On the next one, we're gonna put a little magic on this. I brought a very, very special tool. Might just get us the bite we need. Take one scratch, you know. Good three, third time's a charm, hopefully. We're going samurai on these fish. We're summoning the Bushido. It's not time for games out here in four to six foot seas in the dark. Live lobsters that we had to work for all day. And if this one doesn't work, we got another as a backup. That is up they bite. No bites in the third drop. Drop number four, coming up. No bites yet. Let's see what happens. Charlie said he had a bump. Nothing back here yet for me. They might be chasing his lobster. They might just not be biting now, but they turn on soon though. We'll fish three hours, we're not gonna bite, we're calling it a night. Mm. Real lobster! Taking line, baby, taking line. Mm. Go! Oh, oh, he's rolling, dude. Uh, 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 trying to budge him here. It's a nice fish. We're breaking his back. Get low. Get some. Come on. Get some. He's off. Ah. No, no, he's there. He's just moving quick. Uh oh. He's off. Some popped it. Some popped it. You yeah, got a shark. Shark, <laughs> shark. We had one on. Sharks got him. Thumped hard once. Chased him looking at him. They didn't eat him though. But he's still nervous. Charlie. Get him. Fight, fight, fight. I'm off. Lost mine. Mine did it instantly. We just had a double header hookup. We didn't get either fish. I didn't even have time to get my harness on. The fish was on there immediately. And had him up about 20 feet, but then sharks got him. Charlie pulled hooks on his. But I put on wire leader now, so we'll see what happens if a shark eats him. We might eat him. I'm on full drag, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a bite, missed it. Just thumped it. Oh, he's biting right now.
Ooh. Let's go home. Yep, way on that note. Tonight could be the night. A lot of lobsters, a lot of fuel money, a lot of cookies, but we're going back for more. We got a secret weapon tonight. Garrett's here. Oh God, we ain't catching a damn thing. <laughs> now hang on. What was wrong with the motor? A lot of people ask. You said it was a fuel filter, a third yeah. one? By the VST? Fuel filter. Before the VST? In the VST or no? In the VST. So it was the VST. Yep. We were not pulling the VST apart while we were out there fishing. If you hang out with Charles and me, you eat plenty of cookies. Right? That's weird that decket fits those cookies perfectly. Yeah. When I put the decket in here, I think they're designed to hold the cookies. It holds oatmeal there and cookies here. They don't move. So, here we go. spot it's no secret there's seven or eight boats here tonight could be the night beautiful sunset nice ride up here a little bit of luck we're gonna get the cabaret tonight we've been trying hard Let's see what happens we're getting the black magic back on we've been out here a few trips already this year we're gonna show you some of that right now this is not an easy task check out this Time to get tight. The Cabarrus Snapper mission continues. We've made it down here. We're going Nick and his buddies. The 34 Freeman sedated. Fingers crossed we get lucky because we got beat up last week. Oh, The sun's going down. We're gonna try to get us a big Cabarrus. They're rigging up the first one over here using a live lobster for bait. We're gonna rig up this rod and be ready next. Might get him. Might get a big QB. Big Cabrera. All right, first drift. Going down. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna try and back up. Oh. Might be able to get it out. We oh, snagged the bottom. Not good. Not a good way to start. Fishing is expensive. <laughs> we're about to lose like 30 bucks in a year right here at first drop. No, we're not. And a lobster. Look at that, Nick. They're coming to your light. The flyers. Catch them. Scared them. Oh. 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 You can grab him, he's dead. You can grab him, you can grab him. Reach, reach! He got him! He got him! He got a flying fish. Oh. Turn the light on, Nick. Where's the light So that flying fish flew into the boat, busted his eyeball out and laid there, and he just caught him. You don't see that every day. Flying fish. Check this thing out here. Look at him down there. Look. Look at them all. Oh god, here they come. Watch your face. Watch your eyes. Watch your face. <laughs> oh my god, we still got bait on here. No bites yet. We're gonna fly down here. Give my, my, give my man landing a chance. Give Subi a chance, and Subi showed up in a Subaru. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> and there he is. Give me that thrust. It's a technique. Subi Ganey do it. It's effective. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're there in you go. the bottom. Two rods, one time. Now we have to break off both rods. We got spreaders. And we lost two rigs. There goes like 50 bucks. We're trying to change our luck. This is biodegradable, so we're gonna pull off the sticker. It is a Chiquita. We're gonna save that, put it on land in here. And this is going in for the fish gods. It'll break down naturally in the environment. Try number five, I think, or four, I don't know which one. So Brian just had a little bite. He said it was nervous and thumped. Those are the teeth, those are the fangs from a Cabrera snapper. Crushed it there and broke up the antenna. He didn't come back to eat it, so it might have been a small one, or they're just starting to wake up. But you can see right there where I'm pointing, those are the fangs from the Cabrera. Lobster's dead, he killed it. So we're gonna save him to eat them for Jess's lobster bisque. We're gonna get a fresh bait on there. We just heard a rumor Scott caught a 300 pound swordfish. I wanna know how much of it he actually has. It. I just saw on the news, Channel 10 News, you guys caught a big swordfish, is that true? I, on Channel 10 News, I just saw you caught a big swordfish, is that true? Look at that, look at them rednecks up there. They got a big swordfish hanging out from an oak tree. Yeah, we had to hang him out of the tree. So I'm looking here, he's over the tree, down here, down to the back of the pickup truck. <laughs> Are you ready to order a couple of rods and reels? No. Yeah, exactly. You get the uh, over 300 pound deal, right? Yeah, you do. You just 
Good buy, job. You had to buy three of them now. Good, Good job. job. Congrats. Yeah, overall, tip to tip. Yep, longest as possible. We already caught one shark and one cuda. We just had our first little nibble. Great night. Good job. Scott and them just got a 300 pound swordfish off South Carolina. Yeah. Probably a bunch of rednecks up there. They had to put the rope over the tree and use the truck to pull it up. Let's get tight. It's almost 11 p.m. Could be sleeping. No cabaras yet. The girls are wondering why they came. So are we. It's not just the girls. We're wondering. Turns out I kept calling Brian and Jamie by accident too. I almost got away with it, but I didn't. Landon just dipped in at a ballyhoo and we were screaming and yelling. I think the other boats think we caught a fish. We have no Cabrera snapper. But well, we got one ballyhoo. We do have a ballyhoo. We, we had a flying one. fish, but somebody threw it over. No flying fish catching cook. I've had a little thump that drift. There's one tiny little hole in the lobster head. He's still kicking and it's missing a leg or two. It might have been a small cheap bite, but the moon's rising. We'll see what happens. It's 1208. Still no Cabrera's. They're not easy to catch. No fish. One barracuda and one shark before the sun went down. The good news is we still got dinner. Although dinner. Nick said I cannot have them for tomorrow night. <laughs> I wouldn't give them to me either. Skunkaroo. Oh, good. I miss going back and forth on YouTube comments. So long, cowboys. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. And it would have been on camera too. <laughs> <laughs> so close. The good news is we made it back. Jess has got lobster bits coming up. Yeah, she there you does. Go. Dear baby Jesus, please let us catch one of these Cabrera snappers. Four nights and a lot of money. He thought he just took us to Pulley Ridge. He brought us here. But he had a secret spot. Drop number two, going back down. He's nervous, thumping. We need a big bite. Charles just had a bite. Time to examine the lobster. Definitely a bite. Surprised he didn't come back. We ripped him off the hook. Drop number three. We had a bite as soon as it bought them. Look at it, check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey. Hold on. You guys are That's busy. dinner. Turn your phone on it. So they got a big cabara. Trying to get a peek of it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, Let no, I got go, a big baby. one. Yeah. Ah, oh, shark. Last drift. Nice one. Last drop or no? Huh? We had a bite, we didn't get them. Yeah, we got them first drop. Nice, nice job. Yeah, I need a bigger cooler. It got stuck oh, yeah. on a buoy. On the anchor? No, it got stuck on like a buoy because we drove like we drove away from yeah, the back. We, 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 we just ripped them off the wreck. Nice, nice job. Uh, we know what they look like. Get them, 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 get them. We're off the run. Come on, come on, give us one. Come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Give us one for showing up. Please give us one. Please give us one for showing up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. We got one, guys! Yeah, no, let's go! Yeah, let's roll! High five! We finally got Four nights and we had to get a professional. Here, there, but check this thing out. Stroke them, baby! That is the elusive Cabrera snapper. I did not catch it, but... Rodney coming. <laughs> let's go, go, let's go, go, go. We finally got one. We finally got one. It was a lot of work. On the BKK hook right there. Charles got him dinner. All right, nice Cabrera snapper. We finally did it. Garrett put us on him. Charles cranked him up. It's time for me to catch one now. Good job, Garrett. We're on the board. Courtesy of Charles, Garrett. Rodney. And Rodney, the rod holder. I was eating a lot of cookies tonight. There's a chance I could throw up. I drank a cherry Coke. I think I've eaten 11 cookies, fried chicken, and a big sandwich. And I think I'm gonna puke. That's the Cabrera Snapper Scale. Oh. It's 11.30. I still want my Cabrera. The good news is Charles got one that we're not gonna starve. He's nervous, he's thumping. Please give us one, dear baby Jesus. Ten pound, baby Jesus. We got a bite. There he is. Oh, there he is. Go. Go. That is so crazy because I probably literally hooked nine of the last ten bites we have before tonight. We missed five bites now, standing up. Four bites. There. 
proving to be the most difficult and frustrating snapper to catch. Oh yeah. Wow. Got smoked. No bueno. There we go, baby. <laughs> we finally did it. Yeah, dog. They've been eating all your lobsters. That one is full of air, so we just had a Palm Beach release on one next to the boat. That is a Cabrera snapper. Let's see if it opens his mouth for you. Look at those teeth. Can we try for a bigger one? <laughs> Not a monster, but he's a medium, and I'll take him. Nighttime Cabrera snapper. We spent a lot of time, energy, and more money than we wanted to, but we got a couple tonight. I know we're on the leader. Good sized fish. We're still looking for the 50 plus, but uh, I mean, check those teeth out right there. That is a mean fish right there. Beauty, though. Absolute beauty. Bye, buddy. I'm here for you, Nicholas. No, Charles, I will not go Cabrera snapper fishing. Inside sucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Gear turning and burning. They're chewing now. He's home. Yeah, dog. Flopping him. Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't give up. We've got freaking, we've got 30 something hours out here this, this summer so far. That's the fourth one tonight. You just never know when your night's gonna be, but that's why you don't quit. It's late, it's past my bedtime. But we stayed up late last night to get ready for tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby, pull back, baby, pull back. That was a real deal here. Yeah, that's a real one here. Oh yeah. Damn. That's a real one, baby. Oh, that might be a real one here. That's a real one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Can I slam? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Damn, that one right there, baby. That's my PB personally right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. All I can say is on the next stick, baby. <laughs> the Cabrera's pushing 40 pounds. It's my personal best I've ever caught. We're actually gonna let him go there. We're trying for a bigger one. Off like a missile. We're on him, I'm out of breath, but we're going back down for another one. Tight, suck up. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, baby. Another oh, slipper? For four yeah. years, I've never seen this like this. 20 pounder. Six Cabrera snappers out of breath. We've been fishing four years for this night, and it's happening right now. We got one in the box for dinner, we we're letting the rest of them go, but that's why you come out here, you don't give up. We've been trying and trying. We got the hooks out of this one, we'll let him go. <laughs> On the next stick, we're letting him go, baby, number six. Goodbye. I'd like to see you get your big one. We'd like one big one. Yeah, right? There he is, he's thumping it. He's thumping it, might be a little one playing with it. Hold off. So he's running with it. That rod's got more bend to it. He's in the pot. Moon's going down. Got a romantic out here. I send snappers. Snapper slapping. 
turn and burn, baby. Low gear. Here he comes. We got the leader. Let's see what we got. Yeah, dog. Just sick. Yeah, dog. There, lobster tail got smoked. Dropping lobsters out here for cabara snappers. Beautiful fish right there. The old cabara snapper on the broad-minded. Welcome aboard. We waste a bite. We waste. He's thumping, guys. He's nervous. Come on, eat it. Eat it. You can feel him when the cabara snappers are chasing. The lobster starts going, eh, 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 you know, thumping around. Oh. We're gonna move him around a little bit, see if we can entice him to bite it. Yeah. Come on, come and eat it. How many? There's still five boats out here. There's about a dozen at one point, but some other guys went home. This is the latest I've seen up since I can remember. A long time. For now, there might be a small one. We, we want Big Mama. We want a 50 plus to eat it. Only two lobsters <laughs> left. Really? And one dead one. And one dead one. <laughs> yeah, dog. No. It was no funny, fish. we thought the, I could feel a little bit of bait on there, but the thing's still alive. It, they crushed his front of his head, but he's still alive. They didn't come back to eat him. That's the lobster last drop. They crushed his antennas off and just missed the hook. <laughs> Did you hear that? We brought 20 with us. They're biting. I am dying. It's almost, it's three in the morning. Not quite. <laughs> 257. Three in the morning. Three in the morning. Only one other thing I'd rather be doing. That's sleeping. Thumped it. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, give us a big one. Give us a big one. Yeah, man, come on. My elbow is absolutely killing me. Why Get tight, sucker. Why are people still out oh, here? Get tight, sucker. Don't you have jobs? Good job, dog! Oh my god, it hurts so bad. That might be the guy's first one <laughs> if he's yelling that much. Yeah, dog. Yeah, sucker, we got tight. Number eight. That was painful. Ooh. I'm gonna take some Advil. We got one dead lobster we're dropping. Epic night, you just don't see that very often. We've been out here for four years fishing for this night and it finally happened. That's wrong. The last one, he's dead. But it's all we got. The dead lobster is not getting a bite. One minute warning. It is 3.23. It's time to go home. This is pain, pure pain. Oh, now we're at nine, do we go for 10? <laughs> Charles has to work tomorrow. Charles, Papa Joe's is not gonna build himself. <laughs> oh, we got color, here he comes. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Maybe he'll come off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh. We're actually keeping that one to eat. That's nine. We got one lobster left. Charles really wants to come, but we're going down with one more dead lobster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so we actually let go of some bigger ones, you know? We really were hoping you're allowed two of them out here in federal waters. But the smaller ones, a lot of people like to eat better, so that's where we're keeping them. You know, we let go, a lot of those 30 to. That one was pushing 40 pounds that we let go. We let those go, but if you ever want to eat one, we got one of the cooler to eat, and that'll be our two. But we're doing one last drop for the heck of it. We got nine cabara snapper. I mean, just don't. There's a lifetime trip, so. Good thing Garrett came with us to show us how it's done. Come on, stay over there. Come on, give us one more. You don't feel any thumping right now? No. Could have been number 10. He got me in the wreck. Yeah. I was not expecting that. I thought we had him coming up. I up thought you had him up enough. 20 cranks or so. Well. No. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, the one you want. You think he's floating it? It's scoped up a little bit. Oh, it's get a big it. one. Yeah, get the gas it's a big one. It. It's a Goliath grouper. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you said you didn't catch these things there. I saw the round fish. First one. Yeah, first one I've ever first caught. First one I've ever caught here. <laughs> hey, there's still a bait on the hook. <laughs> oh, no, we are going home. <laughs> and then we go ask our buddies if they have a live one. We're debating whether or not to go ask the last boat here if we can get a lobster. Because I lost our last dead one. Be like, look, guys, we got nine. We really need one more. One more lobster. Lobster. Yeah, we just ran out. We freaking hooked like an eighty pounder. We're gonna ask you for one. Yeah, we're gonna ask you guys for some extra lobster. We need one two more two lobster. lobster. 
It is 5.07 a.m. That is the longest I've ever fished for Cabrera snappers. But it was an epic night. You can't beat it, so. Big thanks to Gary for putting us on him. <laughs> Josh Charles is going to be working an hour. The wind is blowing. It's supposed to be calm, but it's blowing like 15 to 18 knots. You can see the flags behind us blowing. A little choppy coming in there. Fuel lights blinking, so we're kind of low on fuel, but we had enough to get there and back. We ate a lot of cookies. We're going to clean those fish up tomorrow, so we see you uh, back tomorrow. It's the next day. I got into bed after 6 a.m., like 6.07. Good size cabarrus. These fish are actually a little bigger than I thought. That one we let go was definitely 40 pounds. I just put him on a boga. He was 16 and a half, which I thought he was honestly 12. And Charles fish we guessed at 30, but he's bought him out the 30 pound boga. So he's definitely a few pounds more than that. So we're gonna grab the big scale right now and go weigh him real quick. And uh, see what he goes. But we're gonna gut these fish and put them on ice. But uh, we'll weigh him, then we're gonna gut these, ice them down. Landon's gonna clean out the rotten baits. No, no, no. You want to be a fisherman. This I'm is part of filming. it. I'm filming. You're the film guy and the bait guy. Let me go get the scale. I'll be right back. And you can do a bait or two and I'll be back. So we're just going to gut these for now because I don't know how we're going to cook them yet. But that big cabara there was 34.2 pounds. This one here was like 16 and a half on the boga grip. We got this here. Put that there. Let's get these guts out. And we all, I mean, we let some of them go. We only kept two. And we kept him because he was hooked in the belly at the end there. And like, you know what, let's keep one more small one to eat. Dude, let's see what's in this. Dude, there's something in his stomach. Let's check this out. See, it might be a crab or something. There's something hard in here. Oh, it's a part of a lobster. <laughs> it's our bait. I don't know if it's a crab, but it's just a piece of a lobster head. There you go, so that's part of our bait last night. Part of the lobster that he ate. That's his antenna on his head there. But that's what he was eating. Here's part of a lobster. We'll get all this out and get him. Be good. Should we get the thumbnail by the sheriff's car? Yeah. Good one, right? He ate a whole lobster last night. Yeah. Incredible flipping fish. Yeah, look at the teeth on him. No, that's what I'm saying. saying, right? That's crazy, dude. The local how law long, enforcement long, stepping by. How long it took you to bring About him? 10 minutes. It's a battle, though. You hook them, you gotta get them up because the sharks go eat them. But they've been checking out, you know, they stop at the marinas. A lot of times there's, you know, there's a storm coming up, so I guess we gotta watch that, but I think yeah. we're gonna miss it, so. Yeah, we're gonna miss it. We're gonna go clean them up, all right? It was good to meet you. And Likewise, buddy. Likewise. I'll see you guys around, man. Yep. Thank you. We're all good. We didn't get in trouble. Time to get the big boy here. We're just gonna let him sit on ice, and a lot of times a snapper, a grouper, it's better if you can gut him, let him sit on ice. And we we're just tired last night, so we didn't gut him. But I mean, check the size of those scales out. And that is insane. There's like seven or eight scales right there. I mean, they're bigger than a quarter, some of them. Protection on them, no doubt. And it's hard to break that uh, bone right there between the fins there, but let's get all this stuff out here. Oh, it's nice and cold. It was nice down good. We were just so tired last night. Like, I think Landon got less than an hour of sleep. I got two hours of sleep last night. Charles didn't get much. Garrett didn't get much, but we fished. I mean, literally four years I've been doing that now, I think, fishing for these things. and. That was the night we've been fishing for for four years. So the moral of the story is do not give up and keep trying. You never know when it's going to be your night or time. And last night was our shot. You know, we didn't get, sure I wanted a 50 plus, we didn't get them, but I'll take a 40 pounder and hit a week and let alone catch nine of them is just absolutely epic. And you know, let most of them go. We only kept two. And the last one we really just kept him because he was hooked in the belly and didn't look good and whatnot. So, but we're going to get this guts out of here. You can see all that, and then we're gonna ice them down. Garrett's actually coming back down now. I think he's gonna grab a little one to eat, and we'll be good to go and see what happens. But love this fall time uh, Cabrera snapper fishing. Did you just hit your head on that? Yeah. Was there anything in there? In my head or this? <laughs> your head. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you get gators last night? Yeah. Yeah, I got two gators. I had a seven footer and an eight footer. So there's been a change of plans for the Cabrera snapper cooking. We're gonna clean the smaller one. The bigger one's still on ice gutted. We're gonna take this to Chef Michael's. It's one of the best restaurants in town. One of the most expensive, but hopefully I'm not buying. I mean, just look at the size of the scales. This is like a giant mangrove snapper. This one was like a little over 16 pounds. And this was just one of the smaller ones. And we like all the biggest one as y'all saw. What an epic night there. And we're gonna save his jaw there. I mean, those scales are crazy. Just like armor on here. A lot of fun there. And honestly, some of those bigger ones, you can eat them all, but everybody says, you know, if you're going to eat the Cabrera's, eat the smaller ones or the small, medium ones and whatnot. So and we may, uh, I don't know what we're going to do with the bigger one yet. Who's going to eat it? We may give some of it away. I got some of the guys here asking about it. We're probably going to save the jaws for the heads because they got those awesome teeth in there. I mean, those fangs there right there, if you can see that. That's where they eat the lobsters with and crush them. 
you wouldn't want one of those to bite you because it would hurt. But those scales on these things are like no other. But just like any snapper, you know, just cleaning down the side there. Getting over the spine will be the tricky part. So just kind of get the knife over there, work it down. Try not to get the spine by the dorsal fin because they got those big dorsal spikes just like any snapper. You could go to a bigger knife too, but the boat is in the boat yard right now. We took it over there to get some work done, so we're just going right over the rib bones like that. It's the old Cabrera snapper, and they got a few different recipes there they'll do. We'll probably get a little uh, platter done with three different recipes, I think. We're just going to kind of show you that. And it'll be a feast. And any fish that eats a lobster, you know it's going to taste good. Yeah, no. So just check a fish's diet if you want to know how it's going to taste. If these junk, it's going to taste like junk sometimes. Real heavy bloodline there, so we're actually going to try to trim some of that off too. Because this is where the fishiness will be, so we're just going to try to thin some of that dark, dark red out there. Knock this center bone out here. Get rid of all this. I don't know how we're going to get it cooked up, but it's going to be the exact same thing on the other side of the fish. I'm just going to show you half of it so you guys don't get bored. Because you're probably already bored if you watch the video this long. That's going in the hole. Cabrera snapper right here. We'll see you back at Chef Michael's tonight. Time has come. We're at Chef Michael's, the best restaurant in town. And we have all this fish. I can't believe it. Check this place out. It's the best place in town. We really missed Charlie on last night's expedition, two nights ago. But we're gonna feast together tonight with Andrew and our neighbors. I trained all year for oh. it. Hi. How you doing? We're in the kitchen back here at Chef Michael's. The best restaurant in town, no denying it. And we've got the Cabrera Snapper being cooked up. Have you cooked Cabrera Snapper before? Yes, we have. You have? Yeah. All the way up to 60 pounders. You have? Yeah. This was only a 16 pounder. Uh, it seemed better eating than the 60 pounders. Exactly, I agree. How are we doing the appetizer? So we're doing fried uh, with panko crusted. Okay. And then we'll do it with a cilantro type chili sauce. Perfect. Do people bring fish here a lot to cook? All the time. So I do. All the time. If you catch your own fish, you guys can bring it here. We've got a number of ways to do it. That flour there? Yes, sir. What do we got in the middle? Uh, the egg wash. Just straight up eggs. Okay. No cream or any of that. So we're doing this for an appetizer, we're doing it fried, and we're gonna do it for the entrees too. I think we're gonna do it three or four different ways. And a couple of people are gonna get some steaks too. We have really good steaks here. We're gonna see how it turns out. Stacy is a little nervous to eat it because we told her that they get sick with hair poisoning sometimes, but not usually in the US, more in the Bahamas. So I think it's gonna be delicious. Good. Hot oil. That's just part of what we brought up, that smaller Cabrera snapper there. We're going to have to have a big old feast tonight too with the rest of it. Free sample. Oh, we got a sample right here. Oh, it's hot. We're going to put down there for a second. Oh my, I can't get to me, you guys. I should get subscription alerts. Oh my. Wow. That's very nice. Wow. Yeah. chili. Wow. Was that passive aggressive? No, it was not. The presentation is beautiful. That's, that's <laughs> legitimate fried fish right there. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Real quick. He said he's cooked him up to 60 pounds. That ain't no rinky dink fryer. Sorry for the noise, me loud here, but one of the best restaurants in town, if not the best. We're coming for special occasions. It's a nice and special occasion. We spent a lot of time and effort to catch this Cabrera snapper this year. Look at that fish. Did you bring chopsticks with you? These are my special custom chopsticks, actually, yeah. Only for special occasions. This is pocket chopsticks. It could be hot. The question is, how does it taste? I like snapper. I like snapper, right? <laughs> I mean, Chef Michael's uh, fried and Thai chili sauce. We spent all that time and money and energy and it just tastes like a snapper. Could have caught one off the dock. If you told me it was mangrove snapper, I would believe you. Similar. Just Tastes uh, when you, you know when you fry something that big, you know you can't necessarily. But it's definitely a little meatier, a little fattier. Kind of has a more, for sure. I think a uh, rich, rich taste to it and all that stuff. But it's, it's excellent, really. Super fried. I like it. I like this crispy. Do you guys approve? It's good. Thai chili. I really like it. It's really good. The fish is really good. Good. I have to try a bite now. I'm getting one that broke back there, but it was too hot to eat. The sample. Thai chili sauce, correct? Thai chili sweet sauce. Thai chili sweet, sweet. sauce. Yeah. Come on, give us some words. It's very good. 
Tastes like fried fish. The sauce has a little kick to it. I would say it's fattier though. It's moist and rich, like Charlie said. Definitely has that so. extra kind of buttery taste to it. You know? From all them lobsters he was eating. It tastes yeah. like victory, right? It tastes, it tastes, like, victory. tastes like victory. That's He's not eating any more lobsters so. though. All right, so that's the first round. We're gonna do three more styles of it for dinner. Um, just tastes like a big old snap rock thing. Just a little more rich, more fatty, very moist. I'm gonna put the camera. I need some more. We're back in the kitchen. The fried fish appetizer was a hit. Everybody loved it. What do we got? Now we ordered the fish. I guess three or four different ways now. I'm not gonna be able to show every style. I'm gonna show part of every style cooking it, but it's gonna be a quick explanation of how we're doing it, what he's doing. You thin it out, butterfly it kind of. So you thin out the yes. conveyor there, which is kind of thick. Basically broke it down into four different portions. All gonna start with our base seasoning, which is a blend of everything. It's called 36. 36? Yeah. Who made the name? Is it 36 flavors? Uh, hopefully. It's kind of like Dr. Pelt. Exactly. Dr. I was like Dr. Pelt at yeah. 23. You read my mind. So they all get the same base seasoning. Correct? Yeah, the black and gets the uh, our, our black and seasoning, obviously. Gotcha. For the pasta grain and the Creole sauce. Okay, cool. I like eating fish, but I like steak better. Check that steak out. Yeah. Big old strip right there. He's got yeah. a mixed nut, which is just a different blend. Ambassador, ponce and train, mixed nut. Is that all of them? Yep, and an Adriac. An Adriac, so we got them all. We're grilling that, and it's here. You got bacon at the end or something, or no? Yeah, a little butter and lemon to finish it. Nice. Garlic butter going on. Yeah. And a couple fresh sliced lemon. There's like a well-oiled machine back here. Going in the oven. Hopefully you guys can hear it some, but uh, it smells delicious in here. We got fish, we got steak, we got carrots over there, spinach, we got it all. How do you know when the steak is done? You just do? You just do. We used to it. I gotta put a little probe in there. Sometimes I overcook them or undercook them. Sometimes. That's how I got a steak. That's how you know the uh, the actual chef there I said, "How do you know when the steak is done?" They just do. Thank you. I cannot wait to see that whole steak. It's not all for me. Oh wow. That's a lot of fish off uh, one little snapper, ain't it? It wasn't such a little snapper, actually. I think that was a pretty big snapper as far as I'm concerned. Charlie? It tastes a lot like red snapper, honestly, and they've done it with this very nice herbal concoction here. It's got some parsley in it, it's got some garlic in it, some citrus. It's really, you can see it's properly grilled too. It was really nice. It's not overcooked. Super tender. Really pretty, really beautiful flavor. You can see it's really soft, nice texture. Very, very impressive. Really, really professional stuff here. Really yeah, good. it was not the first rodeo. No, no. I, I asked him how he knew when the steak was done. You know what he told me? What did he say? I just do. I just do. Yeah. Instinct. I just do. Proper chef is instinct. Exactly. Like True professional. Do you recommend Chef Michaels? Yes. 100%. Best restaurant. Do you guys recommend it? Yes. I recommend Chef Michaels. I do recommend Chef Michaels. It's beautiful. I can't wait to see you eat a one pound steak by yourself. <laughs> okay. No, this is coming. It's my turn to eat the fish. I got the mixed nuts. We worked very hard to catch this fish. We're all those fish. A lot of slow nights, a lot of slow days. But we finally had victory. So this is fried like the appetizer. White flaky meat. I believe this is a, what was it, like a mango? Some sort of mango sauce on top of there, maybe a chutney or something like that. So it's going down. You should only fry fish. You can't be fried fish. It's delicious. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're going to put the camera down. It was an uh, epic trip, epic night. Thank you guys for having us with you at dinner. Come check out Chef Mike's, you guys. Chef Michael's in town here. One of the best restaurants in town. If you can get it, make a reservation. We do not offer Camaro Snapper trips or charters because we caught them zero the first three trips and finally caught some on the fourth trip this year. So we do not have the skill set or the confidence to take people out there and take their money. But you should just so book we, Sarah to go catch lobsters. If you want to go catch the bait, catch lobsters, you can book a trip with Sarah. We're just leaving. We met some fans. Again, multiple times, correct? Yes. From Tennessee? Yeah. Hendersonville, Tennessee. We want to say, give a shout out to our five daughters, Kylie, Kendall, Cameron, Avery, and Adley. 
Yeah. Shit like the best place now in Murata. Too bad they're not here, right? That's right. <laughs> awesome, guys. We're good seeing you. Enjoy your dinner. And hopefully, we'll see you back down here. See if we can't break them in or break them. We're going back for more. We're trying to get in on the Cabrera snapper bite while it's going on. Garrett promised a big one. <laughs> Madison really wants to go too. We got cookies and fried chicken. The bad news is my diet started today and I'm not eating sweets for the time being. We'll see how long I make it. We got venison and sausage. That might be the good luck trip. We got the Nick stick just in case. If we're lucky, we can say, oh, the Nick stick. We're at the secret spot. I see 10 boats, 11 with us. That's gonna be our navigation light. Ours went out. You Emergency nav light. Coast Guard approved. Oh yeah. Current strong, not sure we're gonna get a bite, but we're gonna try. Still good, no bites yet. Still looking, sun's going down. Drop number three, go get one. Yeah, I was cranking it up off the bottom and he piled on it. We just had our first strike. Oh, he's back, he's back on it. Oh, there he is. Look at him grabbing it. Might be a small one. I like it. He got my bait off the hook. They stole my bait. Swing and a miss. Drop number five. Alex, don't give up yet. One by one, being a hero. Never giving up. Come on, yeah. Let's get him out of the way. We're up in front of it a little bit, not much. Just hang on the bottom of something. Sharks are eating. Really? Right here. Grab those either. Let's feed him up. Not bad, he's going. Look good? I just grabbed his lip. Cooper snapper! The meanest snapper of them all. We just got him. Yeah! All right, that's what we came out here for. I'm out of breath, they'll take your breath away. It was in the wreck for a second. We got them. They all think I'm funny. They're up there stuffing their face with cookies and I'm on a diet and I'm avoiding them no, so I'm far. No, I'm not. Well, they are. They are. Every time he turns his head, landing goes up there and sneaks one. But here, check this fish out. Look at his teeth in here. Look at those teeth right there. Thing crushes lobsters on the Nick stick. Well, my 50 wide rod, but oh, look at those teeth. Oh, he's angry. All right, so check him out. Take a quick look here. Look at those teeth. That's where they crush the lobsters. So you do not want to get your hand in there. One of the fangs is busted a little bit on the bottom side there, but good fish, probably a 35 pounder. He's full of air. We let a lot of these go. We're gonna keep them, just keep one for dinner. We're gonna see what happens the rest of the night. A beautiful fish here. That's the live lobster we're using for bait. He's going back down. We got one, trying to get two. And once I'm beat up and in enough excruciating pain, someone else can have a turn. Oh, he's angry. One, two, three, bombs are at it. <laughs> just had a bite, you just thumped it. Sometimes they come up and crush it. You didn't eat it though. Oh, you're tight. Oh, you're pulling. Come on. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Head shakes. Alex is the leader, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh back with it. Looking for that 50 plus. That oh, has a leg. Later, my boss. Swing them on in, boss. Take a wrap. There he goes, we're gonna let him go, about a 25 to 28 pounder. Time to say goodbye. One, two, four, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I got wet, sucker. Get tight, sucker. Oh, yeah. It's a baby. Garrett's trying to pull me out of the mud. I need a 50 pounder. I just have that going. 10 pounder. We can't see anymore. There you go. I gotta take him out now. He's under 30. You wanna eat him? Yeah, he's under 30. I got a this guy. Alright, we just got another Cabrera. Small guy. Let's try to get the hooks out of him. We're gonna measure him. So if it's under 30 inches, you're actually keeping that way too. You're only like two over 30. So we wanna try to save that other one for a big one. Yeah, 32. Alright. We let him go. Oh boy. Good job. Man. Number three. G Man's putting us on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's running with it. Oh boy. He shook it. He was chewing on him. There he is. Eat it. Eat it. Tight! 
this is him. This is the real one. First one we lost to a shark in a couple nights. That was that was a big one, wasn't it? That was him. Yeah. He was in the 40s. Oh, defeat. The face of defeat there. So, dude, that's a big head. That fish is. That, that's a 40. Dude, he's much bigger than a 40 pounder the other night. 40, 45, yeah. maybe. Maybe a little more. Sharks got him. That's the one we wanted. It finally helped him when the sharks got him. That was the one we wanted right there. That's the one I wanted. We're gonna try to get a bigger one. I'm gonna have to tax the tax man. The small rod, Madison's got the big rod in the back. Just had a little thump. Weather's getting kind of crummy. Bad lightning, thunderstorm, some rain coming by close. We just caught the edge of it, but I think we just had a lot of boats went home. Which is good for us, but depends how bad this weather gets. We don't want to be out here with horrendous. We risk it. Thanks, the guy we buy uh, in fish from sells lobster $10 by the town. It ain't over yet, we're still looking for that 50 plus. The head of the one we caught was a nice fish. It's a lot bigger than the one in the box, it's probably close to 35. That head's probably a 45 pounder, a real nice one. It's flying 20 to 25 knots right now, maybe even 30. The bad weather's coming, the storm we saw earlier. Sometimes that happens with these storms, you know, they just kind of build up there, also. Whoosh, it's kind of top here. I can't see a <laughs> It's windy! And the rain's coming, but it looks like what? the big mass is gonna go west of us. Just caught a rockfish. Nothing like a 1 a.m. rockfish. Oh, lobster's not happy. There you go. We're gonna release this one. It's like that one on the little rod. I don't have the harness clips on this reel. There's no clips on it. It's a little loose in the reel seat, but it's working. Hopefully, we get them. One more would be nice. Oh! See that thing moving? There's some nice waves out here. That's an under 30. That's an under. Really good. Whew. Whew, that was fun on the little rod there. Hard to see the waves come, but beautiful fish got him in the bottom lip there. We're going to let him go for good luck, you guys. Right at 30 inches. Say bye bye. Gary's putting us on him. We call him professional to get tight. He's, woo! He ain't bad! This one's bleeding, you guys. We're gonna keep him. Uh, we wanted to let him go, but he's bleeding. He was hooked deep. We'll eat him instead of the sharks. Tight. Pull him off. We're not gonna hit 10 that way. Tight. Get tight. Come on. Let yours go free. 
And I'm coming, they start fighting back. Oh yeah. Did he? I don't know. Yep. Ugh. Shark got him. There's a big shark cat. Yeah, doesn't be down there eating him. Look at the size of bull shark. He's 300 pounds. Garrett's drinking on the action. Big bull shark wore me out. Easily 300, 350. Could be pushing 400 pounds. I think it was this big around. Eating them cabers, but luckily the sharks haven't been too, too bad the last couple trips out here. We did have two encounters tonight. One of them's got a lip ornament. Get up, Garrett. Get tight. They got eaten. Really? Nah. Yeah. Yep. Sharks are eating them now. Oh. Another one past them. One for the good guys. That's debatable, but another Cabrera. The last live lobster. The last lobster is still whole with no bites on them. We're about to wrap it up though. Give it a few more minutes. Run on home. Hopefully beat the sunrise by about an hour. And tomorrow pull the fish out, probably cut them up. Maybe check out with Poncho, Vic, Edwin there. See what they want to do. Maybe they want to do a fish fry or Cook some up, maybe Jamaican Mike. I don't know. We'll see who's around tomorrow when we get in. But hope you enjoyed it so far. We uh, went through some weather tonight. It's starting to rain again. Welcome back. It's been a couple days. Staying up till six in the morning really messes up my schedule. But it was an epic night, Cabrera fishing. Um, a blast there. Caught some. A few sharks moved in, unfortunately, at the end. But we got what we wanted. We showed you cooking some Cabrera's the last few years. You know, filleting them, doing all that stuff. Chunking them up with Jamaican Mike, but. I just want to do something different with that head. We had that head and there's still a little bit of meat on the cheeks there. So I was thinking, let's cut the cheeks out. Let's go up, throw them in the air fryer and try something a little bit different. So here we go. Ice down on the Yeti here. It's so nice and cold. And that is a big snapper. That head weight there, that's gotta be 10, 12 pounds alone. That would have been the biggest whole one we would have caught. Well over 40 pounds, or probably 45 pounds. A shame the sharks got him, but you saw the size of that bull shark. That bull shark was massive, you know, well over 300 pounds. I, I think it was 350 at least. It was that big around and what up? So the snappers and groupers have cheeks. We're gonna cut those out right here. And we're probably gonna try to get his jaws out of there and make a little jaw mount. I'll show you one upstairs when we go up there to cook, but let me hose him off, get a little bit of slime and uh, fish juice off. And let's cut the cheeks out. Let's go upstairs. And I'm not a master cutting cheeks out. This is the only knife I had at home here. But you can feel, that's where the cheek meat is here. And you can do the whole head here too, and you can get a little nugget up there as well. But let's work on his cheeks first. It's gonna be right in here. You can feel that soft area. We're gonna do our best to get out of there. If you cook the whole head, you can get a lot of it out there. This knife's not a little bit strong enough to be better, but it's gonna have to do the trick. That's what we got, so. We're just gonna get a little bit more meat around the edge there. And not a bad little nugget. And they, they say the cheek meat, you know, we've done it before with some other fish, but it has a little different texture. We don't want to eat the red there, but let's just knock this red off it real quick. Because the red is kind of what would be fishy, but it'll be a nice little appetizer here. Might give some of the girls up there. Get rid of that, and we're going to cut this right off the skin here. You can pull them too. That's a nice little nugget there. And that is a big old snapper cheek, and snappers, groupers, you know, like mahi and tuna, we don't really do it with, but I mean, that's the skin there. That's a nice little nugget of meat there. I mean, it's as big as my as my hand, so we'll take that, but we're gonna have two of those. We'll have one each side. We're gonna take those upstairs and see you in a few minutes. Cheek meat's ready. So we're just gonna trim up these a little bit. Sarah, how are we cooking these? Japanese barbecue sauce, sesame, like air fried snack. 
Sarah's in. We're putting her, putting her to work here. She's gonna cook it up. Two cheeks, knock yourself out. So we're gonna limit the uh, amount of fresh water we put on the fish. I say fresh water is bad for fish, so we try not to put too much on it. When we clean fish, that does your brine, they know the meat, salt water brine, kind of rinse it as we're cleaning it. But a lot of it before I'll eat it, I'll wash it with fresh water. I don't think you're supposed to, but we do. But we're gonna just gonna pat this dry. Snapper meat, I mean, pure white meat. Sarah wants little medallions. So we're gonna cut them into little pieces like this. And uh, probably get six or eight pieces like that. And this, these are just the cheeks, you know. We've obviously done other uh, cuts of meat before, just the fillets and whatnot, but I got 13 little pieces right there. Nice little afternoon snack here in Amarada. The air fryer's in 400. It's hot and sizzling. This has and serves. Clean up and snack. Midway through the cooking, Sarah's doing a little basting. I don't think it's gonna take very long to cook these. Suckers. I'm the sous chef. I'm gonna let him cook another like, minute and then flip. Perfect. They look good and they smell really good. Yeah, they are. Sarah's Cabrera Snapper Cheeks. Japanese barbecue sauce, we'll see how it tastes. Sarah, do you know how many lobsters we used to catch these? A lot. A lot of lobsters this year to catch these. In the last four years, but we finally had a couple epic nights. The moment of truth. Hot. Wait a minute. Yeah, I better wait a minute until it cools <sighs> out there. When something's really hot, you can't enjoy the flavor or the taste. We're each gonna eat a couple of them, then we're going downstairs to see what the girls think. Madison, Claire, Sadie, and we'll see if they give it the approval. Sarah tried one, it was really hot. We let them cool off for a few minutes, base them with a little more Japanese barbecue sauce. The moment of truth. This is a very expensive piece of snapper from the time and energy that we have invested into these. It's a victory. It's a little different texture too, the cheek meat that we mentioned earlier. Just like a little bit firmer. Very good though. Gotta get the girls' opinions. I think Sadie and Claire are gonna like it. Madison definitely will, because Madison caught her first cabrera. She worked hard. Sarah, when are you gonna catch a cabrera? Never. You don't wanna waste the lobsters? Mm -hmm. Sarah wanted to redo that. Tell them why. Are you ever gonna catch a cabrera? No, because I speared one and that's even harder than ever catching one. So my mission is complete. Let's see what the girls think. Yeah. It's Sarah's Thank Asian you. style air fried Japanese barbecue it's like sauce. Smells good. Nope, we let them cool off for a few minutes. Give us an honest opinion what you think. Good? Would you know it's fish or would you think it's chicken? Come back. Tastes like chicken. It does taste like chicken. But I, I love chicken, so that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. Claire. Ran You're gonna run Landon's feet over? Claire, try a piece of fish. You wanna try a piece of fish? Claire, come here. Claire. You wanna piece of chicken? Yeah. Oh, you like chicken. It's yummy. It's fish. You wanna try a piece of fish? Claire. You're supposed to be my make a cameo. Here, watch. Wanna try a bite? Claire, come here. Claire, look. Come get it. Drive through. Drive through, Claire. Drive through. Come get it. Here she comes. Here she comes. Okay, Open! Take a bite Yummy. and keep going. I'm gonna have a bite. Good, now you keep going. Red light. Red light. Is it good? Back up. Is it good? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, she didn't spit it out. She's eating it. Alright, Sadie, you're gonna try a bite? Hey, tell them what grade you're in now. Are you in you kindergarten? More? You want more? She wants more! You try it. It's a big snapper that we caught. So you remember the little teeth? Yeah, the big teeth. What do you think, Sadie? You like it? Do you approve? Thumbs up. Good? Thumbs up? Claire, did you just say you want some more? Which piece do you want? That piece? Oh, it took a big bite. <laughs> yeah. All right, Madison, you ready for more? That's gonna wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed that video. Nothing like dropping a live lobster down for bait. And uh, <laughs> Claire loved it. Sadie ate it. Everybody else really likes it, so. Sadie's getting a popsicle. What are you getting, Sadie? You got two in the thing, Anyone out there is in the popsicle business, we need a popsicle sponsor. Yeah. Hit us up. 
<laughs> you got a pop score. They're smart. They drag little building block things over there and stuff on to get them. So that's going to wrap up that video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, nothing like dropping a live lobster down there for bait. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. A lot of you guys are not subscribed. We'd appreciate it if you do. And if you want any merch or any fishing tackle, head to the website, www.standsfishing.com. And come down here to Bud Mary's and check it out. You do that as, no, 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 wait, wait, here. She wants popsicles now.